is when you're tested. You know, a lot of times I could believe something educationally, but when something faces my son or my life or my wife's life, then it really shows when I'm squeezed, it's really going to show what you really believe. You know, just understand what I mean? So I always, when you, when, you, when, you, when you put the pressure cooker on someone, all their deep emotional beliefs and belief factors come out like flying colors. And sometimes it's, it's kind of sad. So we have to make a choose. Are we choosing life? Are we investing in our life? Are we investing in others and serving God and doing our sole purpose and really wanting to, to end this life knowing that we made, we made an impact, that we kicked it in the butt, we did the best we could, and we did, or are we choosing the fear? Are we choosing the excuses? Are we choosing to let the naysayers and the pity party people and, and, and all the, the dreams and the visions that people cast down in your life, you know, are you gonna go with them? Or are you gonna choose what you need to do? And uh, <clears throat> this is, you know, I, this is me when I worked, when I actually did Strike Force. Has anybody ever seen Strike Force, the power team? So I was one of those guys. I did a lot of stuff before I knew you. Um, so there's me blowing up the hot water bottle right there. See that in the back? That was me in the bottom. So you can see I'm huge at that time. So uh, I, uh, that was at the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic in front of 10,000 people. And so if you're looking where I'm at, I'm the guy in the bottom, okay? so. I was the rookie, so I, I would have to put 900, 900 nails on my chest, 900 nails on my back. They would put, all these guys are 300 pounders, stack them up, plus that guy, then they put a cinder block, then, then Pastor Jerry would swing a sledgehammer, break the bricks, and that would be it. And I, it would cut you. I mean, I would, I, would, I would have nail marks and bleeding. But, you know, it was a meat. Come on. <laughs> why, 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 why? Don't need to tell me. Five. So Pastor Jerry, uh, he was a country boy, so that, that was such a, he used to be able to take an ax, and he used to be able to throw the ax across the room and hit a balloon like on a board. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is an illustration. So we would always say, so who believes, it was at his church, who believes Pastor Jerry could throw this ax? It was like a 20, 25 pounds. Throw it across the area and hit the balloon. And so everybody raising hands. So it's like, when I tell you, so how many in this room, how many believe that your health is the most important asset in your life? Raise your hand. Yeah. How many believe that you have the time, you have the money? You know, because that is, and not only do you have that, but you're able to then not only believe it, but you, but you know now that you have hope that you could lead a much better life than you ever thought you could. Raise your hand. And so we're sitting here, we're believing it. So just like that, who believes Pastor Jerry could do it? And everybody raises their hand. Oh, eight, about 85%. Oh, he could do it. That's right. Oh, hey, great. So then we always say, so who's willing to come up and hold the balloon in your, in your arm like this and do it? And about 15 or 20 people raise their hand. They're like, oh, because it was a church. We're like, well, you know, don't worry. We, 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 it's a performance, right? So I'm like, okay, so, so, okay, so who's willing to put that balloon in your mouth and stand up in the air? And sure enough, there's only one this crazy guy that's going to raise his hand. All right, wise guy, come on up. So he comes up, goes there, and so we had like the medical release form, you know, oh. presentation, and the ax was so sharp, you were able to take the medical release form and, and cut, and cut the release form with the ax. So you had to do the whole thing. And so there's that guy standing like this with the balloon, like this, just sticking his mouth sitting up there. And there's Pastor Jerry sitting here, and he's, you know, and then the, the still part of it, you know, he's, 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 he was supposed to wind up and get ready and get ready, and then just to stop and prove the point. But at this particular time, you know, he, he was looked at me and he's and he's, he's doing this like, and he tells me, I think I can get it. <laughs> so, but, I'm thinking what? <coughs> All part of the show. So everybody's quiet, you know, it was doing, he's doing this, and then he lets go of it. And the thing hurled and hurled and smashed that balloon. And the audience just was stunned. They were like, this guy's crazy. You think they were, they were like, are you kidding me? I mean, literally the lawyers and everybody, afterwards they were saying you could have lost the whole church, you could do all this. But he was like, but I got it. You know, I hit the balloon. <laughs> but, but the message is this. In that room, who really believed? Was it the 85% of the people that raised their hand and say, yeah, you know, I believe, you, yeah, my health is important to me. Was it the 15 or 20% that says, yeah, I'm willing to take this mission, I'm willing to take that balloon and hold it in my hand? Or was it the one guy, the crazy guy, 
who put the balloon in his mouth and stood there sticking his neck out saying, I believe it. This is going to do it. I trust that. And so in this room today, we say, well, we believe, yes, and we believe our health is important. We believe all this here, but who is really believing is, is it those of us who, who could sit here? Yeah, we came to events. So this is my way of believing, or I raised my hand, or I said yes back. Is it those of you who are, are going to take that step forward and you know what, I'm, 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 I'm recommitted to my health, I'm going to start eating better, you know, I'm doing my nutrition right, I'm doing all the things, is it, is it that, or is it those of you in here, maybe a small percentage, that's going to stick that mission in their mouth, stick their neck out and be like, there's no turning back, I'm leaving that old way behind, I'm not going to let that fear, that anxiety, the what ifs, the naysayers, I'm going to do what I got to do, I'm going to move forward and I'm going to make the best of my life.